Today, we're going to talk about the virgin birth or the Immaculate Conception. This doctrine is heavily promoted through Catholicism and many Christianity sets of religion and so forth. But when we really look at history, how did the church or the Catholic Church, Rome, come up with the concept of the virgin birth? We know the concept of the divine mother or mother goddess worship and child worship was heavy in ancient Egypt in Babylon or the mother goddess and divine child, which all stems from the ancient Babylonian comedic mystery religion. But how did this enter into the scriptures? So we're going to take a look into this and use the scriptures and other sources of books to come to a conclusion. Now, we all know the old saying, the bigger the crowd, the dumber the people, which is the mass deception. And usually in times of large crowds or information, there's usually a lot of error and zealous among certain cults, which we call religions. So we have to remember that the scriptures or Bible was not written by the so-called white men or Caucasian. It's through the ignorance of our people not remembering our time period and rulership in the British Isles slash Europe. I get it, you know, a lot of our people have been miseducated and believe that we only come from a certain part of Africa and that the so-called white man or Caucasian taught our people how to read the Bible. But when you look at the British history of the British Isles and Europe, it tells a different story due to the age of discovery, imperialism, and so forth. The Bible is basically a record of the Hebrews law history and prophecy even the new testament the new testament is just a retelling of the covenant and the promises in the old testament the gentiles of the new testament are the israelites we must understand that the letters of paul and so forth were only addressed to the israelites that were scattered among the various nations so the book is very exclusive not inclusive it is a record of the hebrews of the people being assimilated into many captivities and calling themselves by words and proverbs by many other nations that are in astonishment or know who they are historically so to get back on point the virgin birth or immaculate conception is a false doctrine how did it creep its way into the scriptures is it scripturally sound you know, we have to look into this. We also have to realize that a lot of people were taught, you know, of the virgin birth. I myself was taught this at a young age. But, you know, with colloquialisms and understanding certain literature and the etymology of words, we have to use, you know, our context clues and we have to do some investigation to understand that we cannot read the Bible from a modern lens point of view. We have to look at it as an ancient book or a book of antiquity. So we have to understand that words change over time. That's why I said colloquialisms and so forth. The Hamishiach or Christ of the scriptures was not a globalist figure. He was a nationalistic savior to his nation, that being the nation of Israel, the two split kingdoms. So now a lot of people are worshiping Horus or Haru, which is the god of this world, and among many other different names people attest to. But we're going to look up um, the word virgin to understand its many different meanings and so forth.